whip in some pants now uh and for the pants same kind of tricks uh i'm just gonna go in and create a polygon cylinder i always see people box modeling this stuff out and as i always say when i see box modeling i think it's freaking ridiculous that people go in and they start with a box when they go and they quickly convert their box into a cylinder it's one of my little peeves um, just go and do something like this. I'm just going to quickly line this up over here. Let's go to the side view. Let's just hit F, frame it, and then zoom out a little bit. Great. And I'll move this over this way a little bit. And for the leg, I think I can get away with about eight. Remember, I always like the multiples of four, typically. Occasionally, I'll use ten, but I typically always use multiples of four. Uh, and let's just go and scale this up a bit more. Okay, and that should be great. And I'm just going to go in here, subdivisions and height. Let's give it six. Duke. And I'm just going to go and pull this forward. So that's going to be roughly where my knee is. And this one here, we're going to pull that down, something like that. And I typically will go over and rotate this a little bit. And that way I have something like that for my knee. And rotate this. I just find that if you put these curves in like this, you're going to find that it deforms just a little bit better um, when you're trying to bend your knee. Okay, and let's just take this and zip this over this way. And there, this is going to be for the shoe down here. And let's just take that. And I'm going to move this up. This, move that down. Okay, and if I just give rid of some of these, god damn it, give rid of some of these faces, boop, boop, delete, and take these and delete those, great, uh, let's just go in here and grab some of these vertices here, actually if I grab this one here and I pull this down, like something like that, and I just go here to the front view and I want to get that snap to the center, so if I hold down X and I grab it like this, and if yours doesn't do that snapping and snap them all to a straight line, that's probably because you have the bane of my existence here on the tool setting. I really hate this stupid thing, retain component spacing. I want that off typically whenever I'm using this function. Okay, great. And I think I might just go and quickly throw a proxy on this. Control shift tilde is the hotkey for the proxy. So if you already got that set up, you'll be a happy, happy human. And let's just go in here and grab these vertices. And let's just grab my move tool. I'm just going to move this up. I'm going to move this over here. And move that in, something like that. Let's flip over to the side view. And this looks a little bit weird from the side view, but whatever. Just going to move that up a little bit on the hip. Well, and typically you're going to find that, let's see, if we go back here to the front view, right here where the uh, thigh is, it always works if this is a little bit on an angle. Here, this works a bit better. Okay, and I might notice that I'm getting kind of some stretched polygons here. Uh, I could have done this little crotch differently maybe. Uh, let's just pull this forward a little bit. Uh, but I kind of did it like this so I can show you uh, one of my quick little magic tricks. If I go in here and I use the split polygon tool and I go tweak, 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 there. Um, and then I would do something like take this out of here. I got a five-sided, and I'll just kind of take this, and I'll truck my way over this way. And we'll go over here. And if I had went and did something like this to here, I probably could have taken that all the way up here. Done. And then if I just go in here and I grab this out of here, I could have probably have extruded the edges over to get the same kind of result, but I thought it would be kind of fun to show how quickly you can just kind of go and fix up some problems that you might have. And I'll just pull this up this way. Great. And this one here. Come on. Straighten that one up a little bit. I'll just pull it up. Now, oh, did I just do something on crack here? Uh, boop doop And somehow I've got... Okay, whatever. Uh, I'll just go in here and just kind of zip my way across. I missed. Did miss. Okay, there, there, there. Yeah, 
that smoke and crack. I went and I missed this one for some reason. Anyway, it's back in quads, and everything's happy times. And it's got no ass. So, timing at 5.15. Okay, so pull this back. So now we got ass. We got ass. Okay. Uh, then I'm just going to go in here and I'll quickly use my insert edge loop and I'll pop a loop here. And I'm going to pop another loop there. Let's just go here to the side view. Make sure we got ass. <laughs> the new catchphrase. We got ass. Uh, actually, these ones up here. Let's tuck the ass under here. Okay, and there I got some like this. So what do we look like? Okay, great. And uh, <clears throat> maybe to make some, oh, down in here I got these triangles. So because I use multiples of eight, damn it. Let's take this one, this one here, hold down shift, grab that, and that, and that. And if I just delete those, I got quads. If I go in and I grab this face and I hold down shift and double click and I got all those faces. If I go and I do something like this, I can quickly make it look like I got cuffs. And if I go in and I use uh, insert edge loop and I pop a loop here, I can go in and quickly scale that in a bit and hit G and pop another one in. Maybe I'll put one here and then maybe I'll push this down in. Now it looks like I've really got little cuffs on my pants. Sometimes you roll pants over. I don't know. It's not as big of a crazy as it used to be. If I want to just put isolated little wrinkles in the back here, uh, if I go and use my split polygon tool, and I do something like this, like this, like this, and right here I've now got a triangle on either side. If I just go and I zip my way across, this is my cheap little wrinkle. And if I go in here and I grab, say, this edge, and this one, and we push it back. And I can take this one and this one. I can push those back and maybe down a little bit. You can start to see this thing over here. Just kind of let it sag a little bit, something like that. And there we got a nice little wrinkle. And I'll just do that one again. I'm just going to go up here and do something like, uh, you can actually kind of do it all in one go. Something like that, 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 that. And then I zip over this way. Like that, and if I just go in and grab this edge here and this one here, and I press delete, and I grab this. Actually, if I'm just really sneaky, if I just had it going over here and just double clicked, there, there, and I'll take this one here, and I'll pull. Damn you! This hold down shift, grab that one, pull this down, pull it back like this. There you go. And if I go in ahead and I press like 7 just to see what it looks like so I can see a silhouette. I can kind of sit around and nudge these around a little bit and play with those. And Okay. And the legs. What are we at? 825. Great. Um, I'm just going to go in and uh, stylize them a little bit. They're just looking too rounded to me. So let's go in and do this and make the knees a little bit bigger and bulgy. And this is a typical kind of a bob thing, whatever. And I'll just go in here, insert edge loop, and I'll pop a loop here. Pull that and bow it over a little bit and hit G and I'll pop one here. Just going in W and then just go and hit G and then pop one in here. Don't want to make them too bow legged because then you're going to end up into a weird problem. So I put a little bit of a bow in here. Mm, you can even go this way. Come on. There. No, I don't like that. Let's keep it over here. This way a little bit. I always kind of like a little bit of a bow in the legs, but it's up to you, whatever you want to do. And that's my cheap, cheap pants. So I'm just going to stop this one. And, 